Hello everyone, it's Lewat. Welcome back to the Order of Lion Knights, Day 4. Hopefully today no mistake, and we clear stage 12. So as I mentioned before, this team concept is stay away from us. Lee will stun the enemy, and Viper will not fight the enemy. For the third hero, we can have several heroes like Midnight, Force, or Orpheal. We want hero that doesn't move a lot and also has high attack power because we want to raise Ebalance status. Apparently, the handicap doesn't affect Ebalance, only our hero. So, the main damage here is Ebalance. To use this team, you mainly just time the block and time the parry. When we just enter, straight use Ebalin and Chronos. We can use 3 times Chronos before we parry. After parry, we can use 2 Chronos and then just repeat. Parry, 2 Chronos, parry, 2 Chronos. As for the champion usage, we use one at the beginning and another one after like around 25% HP gone or if you feel lion too near to you you can use the champion this is not good why is the knockback no 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 Let's try again. If you don't like to use Bait Rise because she still moves to the front, you can use Pulse. Pulse just stuck at the behind on stop. Somehow couldn't kill that mob fast enough. Hi hi hi. After that, I done some upgrades. So Lee now using double critical damage and double attack power sigil with accuracy ring. For Viper, you can use this build or you can use critical damage and critical chance with 3000 armor penetration or also can use 1500 armor penetration and another attack power sigil. For Beat Rise or Force, just use full attack power and armor penetration ring. So Ibelin get more armor penetration. Alright, let's go again. Third time the charm. Right? I try to keep counting the goddess usage. So one. One, 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 one. Two, 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 Okay, no, 
Hopefully you can clear too. Bye bye. 